6 p.m. I'm stalling 10 p.m. I'm waiting for your call Lord, I'm tired of running Cause every time I run, I seem to fall yeah. I wanna go back to the way we used to be But if I come back right now, will you still speak? I think I ran just far enough I think it's time to embrace your love Who could let me through my highs and lows? Who could make me feel so vulnerable, oh Lord? I'm stalling 10 p.m. I'm waiting for your call Lord, I'm tired of running Cause every time I run, I seem to fall yeah. I wanna go back to the way we used to be But if I come back right now, will you still speak? I think I ran just far enough I think it's time to embrace your love Who could let me through my highs and lows? Who could make me feel so vulnerable, oh Lord? Go back to the way we used to be 
used to be But if I come back right now, who used to speak? I think I ran just far enough I think it's time to embrace love Who can love me through my eyes and nose? Who can make me feel so vulnerable? p.m. I'm stalling 10 p.m. I'm waiting for your call Lord, I'm tired of running Cause every time I run, I seem to fall yeah. I wanna go back to the way we used to be But if I come back right now, will you still speak? I think I ran just far enough I think it's time to embrace your love Who could let me through my highs and lows? Who could make me feel so vulnerable, oh Lord? I'm stalling 
10 p.m. I'm waiting for your call Lord, I'm tired of running Cause every time I run, I seem to fall yeah. I wanna go back to the way we used to be But if I come back right now, will you still speak? I think I ran just far enough I think it's time to embrace your love Who could let me through my highs and lows? Who could make me feel so vulnerable, oh Lord? I'm stalling 10 p.m. I'm waiting for your call Lord, I'm tired of running Cause every time I run, I seem to fall yeah. I wanna go back to the way we used to be But if I come back right now, will you still speak? I think I ran just far enough I think it's time to embrace your love Who could let me through my highs and lows? Who could make me feel so vulnerable, oh Lord? Thank you. 
6 p.m. I'm stalling 10 p.m. I'm waiting for your call Lord, I'm tired of running Cause every time I run, I seem to fall yeah. I wanna go back to the way we used to be But if I come back right now, will you still speak? I think I ran just far enough I think it's time to embrace your love Who could let me through my highs and lows? Who could make me feel so vulnerable, oh Lord? I'm stalling 10 p.m. I'm waiting for your call Lord, I'm tired of running Cause every time I run, I seem to fall yeah. I wanna go back to the way we used to be But if I come back
To, to, to have these teachings and not apply them. So we are going to apply them. I said we are going to apply them. I want to see everyone praying. We didn't come to a concert. We didn't come to a cinema. 
what we are doing is about people, their lives, and their destinies. We are praying again. No prayer point. Build up yourself in your most holy faith by praying in the Holy Ghost. So I want to raise this prayer again. And we are changing the gears. The way we were praying, it was good. But we are changing the gears. We want to go higher and higher. We want to go deeper and deeper. And let your mind be within the prayer. Don't be just praying tongues and your mind is wandering around. Be focused. You can speak in tongues and your mind is just wandering around and you don't know what is going on. So be focused and understand what we are doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, do you re are you really here? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I lift up my voice. As I lift up my voice. And as I pray. And as I pray. And as I pray. And as I pray. Let the atmosphere. Let the atmosphere. In this place. In this place. Be changed. Be changed. Right now. 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 Lift up your voice and pray.
Sula, Mapatia, Icatusa, Apalica Dolomosa, Ia Pantalama, Aya, 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 Push a little bit, Push a little bit more, Push a little bit more. You think you are tired? It's just in your mind. You think you are tired? It's just in your mind. Come on, push it. You are getting there. You are getting there. 
getting there. I see light at the end. You are getting there. Pray. Lift up your voice and pray. I am a lakatalamaka. Apa luka tayama. I am a lamara malama. Rebesetele mekete. I am a fire. Hey yo, hey yo, push it, push it, push it, push it, push it, push it, Repente le 
in the name of Jesus. Let us all just be in a mood of worship. As we are worshiping God, feel free, lie down, go on your knees. But let us have this heart of worship. Before the song even begins, let us just glorify the name of the Lord in your own words. Glorify Him. Glorify Him. Glorify Him. Worship Him. Don't wait on the song. Worship Him.
are praying one prayer before the man of God comes and releases the word. There are many at times people come to a program, they get excited, the power of God flows through the room, prophecies are being released, healings are happening, miracles are happening, impartations are being released. But after the conference, there is nothing to trace compared to what they received at the conference. And tonight, at the last day of the remnant, we are making an end at this thing. This thing shall not repeat itself. Anyone that came in this building tonight, you are going out in the power, in the anointing. You will stay in the anointing. You will not live outside of the anointing. Say in the name of Jesus. As I pray and make this petition, I decree and declare the force that keeps people in the same place where they were before they came to a meeting. As we pray right now, we decree and declare that will not be our portion. As we end this conference, we will leave with the presence. We will leave with the anointing. We will leave with the power. We shall abide. We shall not depart. In the name of Jesus, as we pray right now, we enter into the dimension where there is a release of the outpouring of the anointing upon the remnant. Clap your hands and pray this prayer. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Clap your hands, somebody, and pray. You are not a boy. You are not staying the same way. Katapa sokotoboha. Palutulu mika pali abalabada. Shantali balua kapari anabata. Leva suta la bali abaka. Parota bokoto bodobo. Jida bada bada baka paya abaka. Shada balukutu li bala bali abaka. Shada na bana na baka pala na bana na baka pa. Yega na baka bala bala baka pali abaka. You abide in the anointing. You will remain consistent. Kasu pala bali abaka. Shada li bala baka pali abaka. Yamba pandelelele bosa abaka. Now clap yes, all you people. And shout with a voice of triumph. Scream like your voice is yours. Scream like your voice is yours. Did you come to the remnant? If you came to the remnant, clap your hands. Jump on your feet. Give the Lord a shout. Build a clap your hands for him. Now, if there is somebody sitting, let them stand up. Because, let me say this there is a lot that happened in the past three years.
years in my life personally and if it was not for the counsel and the push of this man of God what you are seeing here tonight will not be possible I was in a place where I wanted to give up but because of him I'm standing here there are not many men of God that will allow their young ones in their church to operate and to grow in the gift of God that has been deposited in them but this man right here never gives up upon his children I want us with a loud clapping and a shout to honor my father in the Lord, Reverend John Owusu Achima, and my mama, Reverend Josephine Owusu Achima. Amen. Amen. Now, fasten your seat belt because we are going to ride on the cloud. This man of God is a general, he's an army general. He's not just a man of God that just come to preach and make noise for you to feel good and for you to fall. When he ministers after the ministration, there is evidence. And if you are here tonight, don't miss your moment. Get your heart ready to receive an impartation, an activation, and a transformation in your life. Let's clap our hands for the one and only. Pastor Randolph Ajay. Do it for Jesus. Come on. Don't move not for me. Come on. Do it for Jesus. Amsterdam scream for Jesus tonight. Come on. Lift up your voice and Bless the name of the Lord tonight. Is that all you can do? Come on. I said do it for Jesus tonight. Come on, scream and shout. I said scream and shout. I said scream and shout. Come on, scream. Shout it to that. Listen. 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 You don't shout because you are young. Noise is, we don't make noise because we are young men. There was a time that, you know, the Pharisees and certain caucuses and council of elders and certain men had to speak with Jesus concerning certain things. And what Jesus and these men were speaking about was the subject of praise. Say praise. And Jesus made a reference and said that if men do not praise me, he said, I have what it takes to even... He didn't say the rocks would praise. He said, I can let the rocks cry out. In other words, if men decide not to praise him, God can even cause the rock to cry out. Now, if something is crying out, it makes noise. When God is coming into a place... Most of the times, it's just a few times that he comes in a still, small voice. But if you study the sequence of his coming, God never comes into a place without an annunciation. When Jesus was coming, angels had to come into the sky and announce it. When the Holy Spirit was coming in the upper room, there was suddenly the sound as of the rushing of 
many waters. And the Bible says concerns says concerning the second coming of Jesus that the archangel would come and be in the sky and as he sound the trumpet with a loud voice. The Bible says all of a sudden the Messiah. So there's just something about praising and shouting and screaming that brings God to town. And tonight we want Jesus to come to Amsterdam. We want him to be in Europe. So I want to, uh, to lift up your oh my God, my God, my God, come on, scream it like your foot is your sound. Shout! Come on! Scream! Shout! Come on! Jump! Scream! Shout! Rai! 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 Come on! Hey. Come on, I'm Come on, I'm standing up! Scream! Shout it! Is that an Abbey? Is that an Abbey? Hey. Scream it, Sunday! Come on, I'm standing up. Right, left and up. Right, right. You are not screaming. You are not jumping. You are not shouting. Ah, ah, left up, yo. Left and up, side. Oh, I feel an army in the house tonight. Ah. Somebody and who is coming to town? The King, the King of Glory is coming in. The King of Glory is coming hey. in. The King of Glory is coming in. Come on, declare it. The King of Glory. I feel the power of God Rise 
Jesus. Scream, shout, praise. Yesterday you were not. <laughs> Something would happen here tonight. The Bible says the Lord confirms the word of the apostles with infallible proofs. It will be a night of infallible proofs. You will see something you have never seen tonight. You would encounter God in a way you have never encountered him tonight. I want to appreciate our Father. Now, I've said this over and over again any time I've been in this house. Some of us, we started coming here when we were very young. And we have seen a man consistent. A man that has been consistent over the years pushing the agenda of the kingdom raising men and women and not just passing with time but handing out batons for the other generation tonight as the Joshua's are standing and warring we have a Moses seated on top of the mountain with his hands lifted and as his hands are lifted, we, the younger ones, prevail over the Amalekites on ground level. Hello, are you here tonight? I want you to clap your hands and scream as we appreciate our father, teacher, the apostle, the man of God, Reverend Achema. Sir, we salute you. God bless you. Can we just give it to mommy as well? Come on. Oh, she was here yesterday. She is here tonight. Thank you, mommy. 
and I want us to give it up for all parents in the house. Come on. Every parent, if your mother is here, if your father is here, go and salute them. I said, if your mother is here, if your father is here, go and salute them. If your mother and father come to your meeting, you've made it. We want to thank God for all the ministers that are here tonight. God bless you. Can we take off tonight? Please be seated in the presence of God. Please be seated in the presence of God. I, I, yesterday, I was so much preoccupied in setting up the right tone, the atmosphere, you know, bringing you to where you have to be spiritually um, that I, you know, just went in. But there are some group of young men and women in the place I want to appreciate. Can you give it up for my sons in the Lord? Come on. I appreciate these young ones. Oh, come on. Do it better. I appreciate these young ones for me. These are strong men of God in the making. These guys are not instrumentalists. We have instrumentalists and we have priests on the instruments. There's a difference. These are not instrumentalists. They are priests on the instrument. All of these guys you see, every single one of them pastors one of our branches. So they are not just instrumentalists. These are men of God. They are men of prayer. They are sons. They are disciplined young men. Amen. We thank God for their lives. I have my, you know, my right hand man, my pastor that I've sent to Hamburg and he's pioneering a strong move of God there together with the wife, Pastor Henry and Mimi. Come on. Come on. Get up. Let them see you. Amazing young man and woman doing the work of God strongly. I have my son Godwin here. Amen. I have my son Elu there on the sound, Jeremy at the back. So as you can see, we did not just come from UK, we brought a team. Amen. I have some of my daughters from Hamburg here tonight. Amen. And I bring you greetings from my wife, Patience, my sons, Joel and Judah, from KAC and from England. Amen. It's very, very important that we don't take people for granted. That when God put men into our lives, we acknowledge them for who they are. Tonight, the atmosphere is heavy. Let me tell you something spiritually. Listen, when I'm preaching, I don't like distraction with all humility. So, ushers, make sure that you keep things on a still. When you are sensitive, anything could just take you out. So please, just maintain a lot of, you know, sensitivity. Atmosphere is everything. Yesterday I said that the Bible says that Jesus in his own town could not do enough. The Bible says the reason was simple. There was an atmosphere of unbelief. But in the next few verses, the Bible says, but in Capernaum, he did so much because the people were hungry and desperate. The Bible speaks concerning the pool of Bethsaida, that there were different types of people with different types of ailments and issues. But the Bible says that none of them got healed until angels came to stir the waters. And tonight, you know, one of the things that I see is that there has been a building up from yesterday. I was here this morning and I saw how people were praying with a lot of hunger and intensity. I walked into this meeting tonight and I recognized that it was heavy. It was, you know, crazy. And I know, I know that God is here to do something. Now, atmosphere is not just everything. It is infectious. 
So the people whose faith are not even where it is meant to be, as our faith is rising, their faith would be rising as well. And God is going to come through tonight in a heavy manner. Tonight there will be impartations, there will be activations. Tonight the glory of God would rest on men. There will be clarity. Tonight men that are bound shall be loosed. Tonight people would begin to walk in God's will and intent for their lives and we are not living here tonight until each and every one of us encounter God in a strong way, shape or form. Come on, shout a big amen. My son, Pastor Elvis, is here, you know, from Germany. Come on, give it to him. He's a faithful son. Hallelujah. Are you ready tonight? Can we go into the word a little bit? If you come and scream and shout and you don't hear a word, it's in vain. Everything must be sustained on the foundation of Scripture. If anything is not sustained on the foundation of Scripture, it will not last. In life, the most, you see, when you see great buildings and edifice, it does not matter how beautiful and long and tall it is. Every building is sustained by a foundation. And the Bible says that if the foundation is faulty, even the righteous is in trouble. So before we get into the place of praying and all of these kind of things and, and just continue and allow the Holy Ghost to move and do everything that he ought to do, can we just, you know, give, you know, reference to the word of God and take something with us home? If you go home and somebody asks you, what did you receive? And you just say, it was, it was powerful. You fail. Sometimes you go to meetings and they ask you, how was the meeting? You say, it was powerful. What was preached? You said, it's powerful. So I hope that you've brought your notebooks and your pens and things. Man of God, I saw you today when I went to sleep. The Lord, I was sleeping in a dream, but the Lord gave me a very strong vision of you. Listen, never feel like you are the back. Never feel like you are not noticed. Never feel like you are rejected or neglected. Because the guy I saw this morning in the vision, in the dream, when I departed from here... I saw a guy that was so powerful that he was controlling, you know, many things and territories. And you are not just going to be a man that writes about prayer. You are going to be a man that will decide the destinies of men and women and nations by prayer. I'm not talking about prophecy. I'm talking about a dream God showed me this morning. And it was as if, you know, sometimes you feel as if, yo, I'm at the background. Yo, what's up? What's going on? God, don't you see me? And all of these kind of things. You have a heart of a servant. You, you love the place at the back. You, you, are, you are very fine with just being there for people, you know, to be able to drive in front. But the Lord said that he's making you like a backbone. You see, no matter how much, you know, the body may look sophisticated and pretty and nice, without the spinal cord and without the backbone, the body is only some gum and mushrooms. But what gives the body the structure is the skeleton, is the bones. And I saw this guy and it was like this guy was the man that sustained many men. May you be a sustainer of men. Anybody that falls on your prayer list within seven days, may God visit them. If you decree a word, it shall be decreed. If you declare a word, you shall be declared. And I speak, your will become like Samuel. Not a word from your mouth will fall to the ground. This guy is a powerful man. Clap your hands and give Jesus praise. The man the Lord showed me today in a dream was a dangerous one. You would be the backbone. You sustain pastors. You sustain prophets. You, you sustain people who don't know you are sustaining them. And if anybody decides to do away with you, they are doing away with certain things that are keeping them. Am I speaking here? I'm not a prophet. It's a dream. I didn't say the Lord, I'm prophet. I said it was a dream I had. Let us.
Let us look into the word of God, the book of Mark, the chapter number five. I'm speaking on the remnants, but today I'm talking about untying the bound man. Listen, I believe that there's a generation on the rise. I believe. I believe that God is doing something in the nations of the earth. I believe. I'm not too old, but I've lived long enough to see the faces of what God is doing on a precious continent of Europe. And if there's anything I'm confident about, it is the fact that God is raising men. When I say men, I'm talking about women and men alike. The Bible says male and female, he made them. But one of the things that when I came here to Amsterdam, one of the ways God deals me with me is that anytime I enter into any city, the Lord would have to open my eyes to what is going on. Spiritually, the force that rules the things that are happening so that we would have the ability to be able to contend with some of these kind of things. And one of the things that the Lord showed me concerning our beautiful nation of Holland and our beautiful city of Amsterdam is that there are a lot of men and women God is raising but the remnants are bound. So God is using this conference to untie the remnant. Anointed, but bound. Powerful, but bound. There are certain people the enemy may not be able to stop, but he can restrict them. The Bible says of the children of Israel in the book of Exodus that when the second Pharaoh came into town, he said to two midwives, now you've got to understand that the assignment of a midwife is to help birth out a generation. Midwives are not called to kill. They are called to birth out. If any midwife has an assignment to kill, they are witches. So the intention of a midwife is to help birth out. Why? Because children are not just human beings. They are nations. The Bible speaks of Rebecca that she was pregnant and she was discomforted in her womb. And Rebecca went to God in prayer and said, God, why do I feel some tingling in my womb? And why am I so discomforted? And God said to Rebecca, you are discomforted because there are nations in your womb. There are two types of people. There are men that are carried by nations and there are men that a nation careers. Rebecca was not just a woman. Rebecca was not just pretty. Rebecca was not just married. She was not just the wife of Isaac. Rebecca in her womb had a nation called Israel. Rebecca in her womb carried God's precious possession in the name of Israel through a son called Jacob. In Rebecca was not just Israel but in Rebecca was Edom. She carried nations in her womb. And when she was discomforted, God said, you are not just an ordinary woman. You are a nation carrier. Tonight I'm in Amsterdam with an assignment to call out some men and women that don't just live in Amsterdam, but they carry Amsterdam. Oh my God, preach with me. Tonight I have come to some men and women that don't just live in Germany, they will carry Germany. Oh my God, tonight I come to awaken somebody in Europe that does not just live in Europe, they carry Europe. Listen, listen, some of us, if you just think we live in this continent, 
you are joking. Some of us are not just living here. There are some men like teacher. They are not just living in the city. Look, there are some men. If they depart from your city, you are in trouble. Lord thought he was okay until he left Abraham. There were nations. One of the things the Lord said to me when I began my journey with God, God said, you would carry a generation. Look, fooling we can fool. You think you can fornicate, we can fornicate bad. You, you've not fornicated. You think you are bad, we are baddest. I'm telling you. You think you are crazy, we are mad. You think you are hard, you are playing. But trust me, when we came to the realization that we were not ordinary men, we said, Lord, take our desires and give us a generation. It is not to say we cannot do it, but we understand that if we go down, we don't just go down alone. If we go down, we go down with a generation. There are men that are sustained by a nation. There are men that carries nations. When you know who you are, you know how you live. That is why the likes of Paul call themselves bond servants. They've denied their freedom because they know if they go down, the kingdom is at stake. If Esther goes down, the kingdom is at stake because Esther is born for such a time as this. Tonight, I came to somebody born in such a time as this that by the power of God, anything the enemy wants to use to take you down, so that in your going down, your generation will go down. We subpoena heavens. We cry on Elohim. We call on God. Give me the almighty hand of God. Sustain you. You shall not fall. You shall not fall. You shall not die. You shall not be destroyed. The enemy in no way, shape, or form can subvert or subdue the mind of God concerning you. There are some men, they are not men. So, you see, every generation must look for voices and preserve them. Pastor Byron, so midwives have an assignment to birth. There are certain men that are midwives. Certain women that are midwives, God will bring them to you and the assignment is to help Push everything that is in you. So midwives have the assignment to help push. But the Bible said there was a man called Pharaoh. And Pharaoh, when he arose, he commanded two midwives. One was called Shepra, one was called Pua, and said, These Israelites are growing in numbers, they are growing in strength. We cannot stop them. But Shepra and Pua, this is your assignment. If any Hebrew woman gives birth and is a woman, keep it. But if they give birth and if it is a man kill him but the bible says that the midwife shifra and poor were god fearing midwives may god give us god fearing pastors in answer I said, may God give us God-fearing pastors in Amsterdam, God-fearing pastors in Europe, men that fear God, that they birth out coming generations, they don't kill them. So, this midwife say, no, the Hebrew women are not like the Egyptian women. Before we get there, they've delivered. I'm not talking about women. I'm talking about nations. 
So Rebecca recognized that in her womb there were nations. Some of you, you carry the next prime minister of Amsterdam. Some of you carry the next European UU president. Some of you carry the next, you know, financial whatever. Some of you are carrying pastors and apostles and priests. Some of you are carrying different sects and dimensions. And you don't even know yet that you are nation carriers. Now watch this. God wants to bear out a generation. But the enemy said, let's kill them. Let's restrict them. Let's bind them. You need to understand that in the book of Mark, the chapter number five, I'm speaking on the remnants and how they need to be untied. In Mark, the chapter number five, the Bible says that Jesus is traveling to the other side. He's going into a region called the region of the Gadarenes. I've been privileged. I've gone to Israel. I've seen it. God has an intention to rescue a city. And the Bible says that as God is traveling on the boat, the demons of the waters they begin to recognize that the coming of Jesus is about to untie a certain generation and a certain remnant and bring a certain liberation to a certain group of people. And the Bible says that all of a sudden the devil begins to let the storm and the waves begin to turn things upside down. I stand here as a man of God, as a son of God in the authority of the power of God. And I declare any storm that is seeking to capsize the next generation of Amsterdam, of Germany, of Holland, of Europe, we command let the storm and let the waves be still. Anybody that needs to cross over to the other side to ensure the will of God, the mind of God, the mind of God and the intent of God comes to activation. Let them overcome the power of the storm. It's crazy how the enemy can be scared of one man's redemption. You are wondering why all hell is breaking loose in your family. It's because of you. But tonight, hell will not just break loose. You will break hell loose. Come on. You are so boring. I said you will break hell loose. I said you will break hell loose. I speak over your life and the power of the enemy to subvert the will, the mind, and the ink. Look, 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 look. And the agenda of the enemy concerning your destiny we subverted by divine authority in the name of Jesus. Look, we are doing many things at once. Say many things at once. Asafu, Jesus defied the us. Look, look, I have never seen a stubborn city like Gadara. There is nowhere in the Bible that any city told Jesus, leave, we don't want you. No city in the Bible were able to tell Jesus, we don't want you except Gadara. Imagine a man defies the odds, the wind, the storm, the tempest and comes into a city and the city say that we don't want you. But listen, when they said to Jesus, we don't want you, he left. Do you know why he left? Because he had a remnant there. Oh, 
Uh, they thought they had sent send Jesus out. But Jesus said, you are sending me out. You've told me you don't want me, but I've just rescued a man. I've just delivered a man. He is my battle axe. He is my remnant. He is the one I have given the assignment to. Jesus said, you can tell me to live, but there is a certain generation that I'm raising, that is rising. They have what it takes in one year to take ten cities. They have what it takes in one year to take a nation. They have what it takes in one year to take a land. And I said to Amsterdam, behold, your men have been loosed. They have been untied. They have been unchained. God has men. God has men. God has men. Look, the devil thought they had kicked Jesus out. But Jesus said, no, I've just awakened. Watch this. The mad man at Gadara was God's assignment, was God's tool, was God's technique, was God's solution to a lost generation. But yet, he was bound. Purposeful, but bound anointed but bound many of you you know the destinies and the prophecies hanging over your life but you are still bound by masturbation you are still bound by pornography you are bound by immorality you are bound by sickness you know god has called you yet you are bound you know there's an assignment yet you are bound but tonight i came with the power of god in the city of amsterdam in the nation of holland in the continent of europe that any bound man any bound woman on assignment tonight by the power of the holy ghost you shall be loosed. You shall be loosed. You shall be loosed. Huh. Anointed but bound. The Bible speaks concerning Elias, Elijah. The Lord said in 1 Kings 19, he said, I have 7,000 men that has not bowed their knees to bow, but they were still hidden in caves. Now, caves may represent many things in the realms of the spirit. A cave is a hiding place. A cave is a dwelling place. A cave is a bathing place. But for a cave to be a hiding place, it means somebody is hiding. It is synonymous of men that are fearful, men that are disappointed. The Bible talks of the cave of Atulam. That there were mighty men, but because they were being pursued, they had run away from town. Now watch this. You cannot be taller than the cave. The cave determines your height. It determines your stretch. No matter how tall you are, if you find yourself in a cave, you must adjust. So we have adjusting anointed men. They are anointed, but they are adjusted. They are powerful, but they are adjusted. They are called, but they are adjusted. They are on fire today, but they must adjust tomorrow because there's a thorn in their flesh. The enemy has bound them. Men that are called but are hidden in caves. But tonight we come to awaken a Jehu. We come to awaken an Elisha. Oh, oh, tonight we came to awaken a Hazael. We will call out from the caves every anointed man. We call out of the caves the remnant. We call out of the caves anointed but bound. Anointed. The Bible says concerning the last supper of Jesus. As he was about to go to Bethany, he told the disciples, I cannot go into town without a donkey. Now watch this. The Bible says the donkey was a virgin, was a colt. Nobody has ridden. It means that donkey is not defiled. Yet, he had chains. Some of you, you have not sinned. 
you have you are not struggling you know with some kind of you know sinful things and stuff you are holy you are pure but you still feel there are some things around your feet now Jesus said to the disciples go to Bethany and go and look for that donkey and untie him for he is my end time vehicle he's my end time tool i cannot go to the cross without this donkey i cannot move on to the next level without this donkey a holy donkey a pure donkey a donkey on assignment but man had bound him look it will be ignorance to think that everybody in church is free I've seen things though. A woman came to me. She opened her dress. There were stripes of beatings at her back. She said every night, demons will come and whip her. I saw stripes at her back. And it's not as if anybody's beating her physically. Demons whip her physically that you see the stripes. They whip her in the spirit. You see the stripes physical. But there is only a certain level a bound man can go. He only walks according to the jurisdiction the chains give him. Ha! Huh, but tonight, what is holding you is not stronger than God. You, 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 your amen is sick. What is holding you is not stronger than God. Oh, tonight, tonight, we soup in our heavens. We soup in our the heavens tonight. Oh, we soup in our the clouds of heaven tonight. Oh, anything, anything, anything that has bowed, that has bowed, that has bowed. The men and the women, God is right in this item. Lose them, lose them, lose them now. Holy, but bound. Holy donkey, bound. 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 When they are getting their confidence, the enemy comes and threatens them and says, I will expose you. When they want to pray, the enemy shows up and says, if you are a man, pray and see. If they want to die, something from their past comes to hand them. Oh, but he that the son of man shall set free is free indeed. Tonight, let the freedom of God, come on, come on. Tonight, let the freedom of God, let the power of God, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Tonight, let the hand of God, let the finger of God, let the power of God, Holy, but bound. Elijah, the Tishbite from Gilead, will not have been suicidal if the 7,000 were not hidden in caves. What was the problem of Elijah? I am alone. Lord, I am alone. I am lonely. If Elijah had seen that there were 7,000 men, Elijah would have said, I finished the prophets of Baal. Now give me the prophets of Ashtoreth. Give me the prophets of this and that. But Elijah became suicidal because the devil, you know, Jesse Baal had succeeded in keeping the remnants in caves. Look at the pictures of the caveman. They draw it civilization. Look at the men they say transition from apes to human beings. They are bound. Because a man can never rise beyond his roof. But tonight, I don't know what is capping a generation of Amsterdam. Oh, tonight, I don't know what is capping a generation of Europe. But tonight, we don't just open the door. We command the caves to break. I said we command the caves to break. 
We command the camp to pray. Oh, tonight we call on the heavenly dynamite. We call on some bombs from heaven. We call on some atomic bombs from heaven. Oh, every king, break, 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 break. We are here on assignment to awaken a pound generation. Remnants that are bound. Some are not just bound by demons. Some are bound by traditions. Can I go there tonight? Amsterdam, can I go there tonight? Amsterdam, Europe, can I go there tonight? Young men and women bound by traditions five times in a day you cannot arise beyond this point you cannot go this and I'm not an advocate for rebellion I'm not talking about a rebellious generation I'm talking about a generation bound by traditions the thing about traditions is that you can follow and think you're doing God a favor Paul said in persecuting the Christians he thought he was favoring God Anointed, but bound. Maybe you, you are too pure, but I know what that means. When you have a word, but you can't speak it. Because the enemy has judged you in your conscience. And say, if you're a man, say it. I know what it means. When you have so much to say, but the devil is using your past. A certain girlfriend and boyfriend is saying, if you were a man, tear out, I would expose you. I know what it takes when you have so much to say, but fear has crippled you. You know that you carry an assignment, but you are bound. Tonight, let the devil bring his evidence. I said tonight, let the devil bring his evidence. Oh, but we have come to Mount Zion. We petition Mount Zion, the city of the living God. We petition the innumerable company of angels. Tonight, we petition God, the judge. We petition Jesus, ah, our advocate, and the blood, and the blood, and the blood, and the blood that speaks a better word. In the book of Colossians, the Bible says that every negative handwriting that was written concerning you, he has wiped it out by the blood. Amsterdam, may the blood speak for you. Europe, may the blood speak for you. Oh, 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 I speak concerning any man or woman. May the blood wipe out the evidence. Say the evidence does not exist. If you knew that the madman you meet at Belma every day is the solution to Amsterdam, you would have untied them quickly. I'm sure people saw this madman and said he's mad. But the man was not mad. He was God's secret weapon. I believe that if the madman was not God's secret weapon, the people in the region of the Catarines, when they told Jesus to leave, he would have stayed. But when they said leave, he said, you don't know who I've just loosed. Jesus said, you just don't know who I've just loosed. Look at the crazy thing. Let me show you the crazy thing, mama, about the madman of Gatara. The guy wanted to follow Jesus and be discipled. The Bible says that when the madman regained his consciousness, he went to Jesus and said, let me follow you. Jesus said, no. You are too, you are too matured to follow me. I, you are, you've wasted too much time for me to take you through school of discipleship. You are ready. You are only bound. Just go into the town and do your thing. Jesus said, don't follow me like Peter. Don't follow me like James. The devil has bought 
around you for too long. You are the solution for Gadara. The Bible says that the madman, after he was loosed, in the twinkle of an eye, brought ten cities to Jesus. Tonight, I am here on assignment to lose somebody that is the secret to God's entire agenda. If it is you, shall be yes. The devil will pay for any wasted years. I said the devil will pay for any wasted years. The Bible said he would pay seven times. I decree a sevenfold anointing. Oh, may you recover seven times. May you recover seven times. Any delay, recover. Any delay, recover. Any delay, recover. Recover seven times. They called him the mad man. Jesus called him the apostle. The guy is more than an evangelist. I call him an apostolic evangelist. He did not, the Bible didn't say he won souls. The Bible says he brought cities. An evangelist wins souls. Apostles, they bring cities. It means that the God did not just bring souls. He brought the bank. He brought the government. He brought the teachers. He brought the doctors. In the Decapolis, everybody knew that he is the man in town. He is the woman in town. But they called him the mad man. Tonight, they called you mad, but you shall be mad for God. Oh, I said, you will be oh. I said you will be mad for God. I said you will be mad for God. I said you, oh my God, come on, scream, shout, you will be mad for God. Hey! Mad for God. Mad for God. Mad for God. Listen. Listen, you know what mad means? It's called mentally, anointically, dangerous. Tonight, you shall be mentally, anointically, dangerous. You'll be dangerous to hell. You'll be dangerous to the devil. You shall be dangerous. Come on, shout it, yes. Mad. I don't care the extent which which the enemy has sabotaged you. You will sabotage him in a painful way seven times more. <laughs> Pastor Byron, mad men take cities. Not, not, not Christians. Not religious men. You need to be a Christian that is mad to fight principalities. You need to be a Christian that is mad to fight powers. You need to be a Christian that is mad to take territories. They called him the mad man of Gadara. And I came to announce to you, he was mad indeed. He was mad in power. He was mad in might. He was mad for the gospel. And tonight, let somebody receive the mad oil. The mad power. Receive the mad anointed. Let something mad, something heavy, fall upon you. Oh, the last time I read in the book of Acts, the chapter number nine, there was a man called Saul of Tarsus. And in the hand of the enemy, he was a tool. But in the hand of God, he was a solution. The enemy had bound him and used him against God. But watch this. When God went to Ananias, he said the extent to which the devil has used this man to worry the kingdom, I'm about to use him to worry the devil much more. Can I make an announcement? You're about to worry witches in your house. You are about to worry witches in your house. 
you are bound to worry wizards in your front. Oh, 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 oh. Listen, listen. The devil placed sickness on you, but you are about to receive a healer's anointing. You will not just receive, you, know, you will not just receive healing, uh, but I declare a healer's oil. Whatever the enemy has used to torment you, let the tables turn. I, I love the book of Esther in the chapter number 9 the Bible says in the very time in the very season in the very opportune moment the enemies of the Jews had planned and orchestrated to defeat the Jews the Bible says the tables were turned ah, the tables were turned it means it went from downside up to upside down. It means that the one who was the oppressor became the oppressed. It means that the one who was the villain became the hero. Should I announce to Amsterdam the tables are turned? The tables are turned in your family. The tables are turned for the church. The tables are turned. Tonight, let the tables turn. For by faith, Moses refused to be called the son of the daughter of Pharaoh. He rejected the pleasures of Egypt to suffer with God's chosen people. Egypt thought they would use Moses against Israel. The devil said, he is mine. You bound him. I loaned him to you. He's coming back home. Tonight, anybody who was on loan to the camp of the devil, your contract has ended. You are coming back home. Oh, tonight, the drunkard shall become the apostle. The womanizer shall become the prophet. Oh, tonight, the sick shall become the healer. Tonight, I call all the remnants out of the camp. No more power. No more power. No more power. No more power. Ah! Come on, scream. Ah! Come on, shout. Ah! No more ah. People don't know why we are crazy. Yeah, the devil has used some of us. Oh, mommy, bro, some of you see a movie brutal. The devil has used. Sometimes when people are saying, "Randolph, cool down, take it easy," you are doing too much. I tell them, you don't know what I've done for the devil. The, the devil does not tell anybody he's using. You are doing too much. Because he came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But tonight, God has come to Amsterdam. Oh, preach with me. Tonight, God has come to Amsterdam. Oh, tonight, God has come to Amsterdam that he may give life to the runner. Tonight, I awaken some army generals. Oh, tonight, I awaken some women with some atomic bomb in their mouth. Oh, oh, tonight, I call some women with an intercontinental ballistic weapon in the place of prayer. Oh, tonight, we call some men with grenades. We call some men with power. We call some men with man. Ah! Say, I am a militant in the army of God. Say, I'm no more bound. I'm no more hidden in caps. 
Say I am rising to my assignment. Come on, clap your hands and shout. Lose them now. Cut up your cotton. It's all of a copa. If I took the battle, I am a young, 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 a When I came, the Lord came to me in a dream and taught me this sermon and said, tell them I'm on a rescue mission. Ah. God is about to rescue that brother of yours. That your brother in jail, that your friend in jail, in the next seven days, they're about to see Jesus. Oh. That your sister, that is sold out to drugs, they call her mad. They call her mad. They call her mad. They call her mad. God calls her an apostle, a prophetess, an evangelist. Tonight we come in the power of God. Let the remnants be loosed. Let them be loosed. Let them be loosed. Let them come out. If you believe in shout yes. No more power. No more pout. Oh, no more pout. You will not be anointed and foolish. You will not be anointed and pout. You will not carry a promise and pout. Tonight, let the finger of God break every chain, tear every rope, let caves and tomb be broken. Papa Jolly, the Bible says that when Jesus hanged on the cross, there were men that were righteous, but they were kept in the grave, in the tombs. The Bible says that when Jesus shouted, it is finished, the rocks split, the tombs broke, and the women received not just their husbands, but they received their righteous men out of the grave. So it means that you can have a generation of righteous men locked in tombs, but tonight like Lazarus. I said tonight like Lazarus. Oh, Amsterdam talk to me. Tonight like Lazarus. Any righteous man, buried. Any righteous woman, buried. Come out, 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 come out. Lazarus, come fall. Lazarus, come fall. Lazarus, come fall. Can you imagine a buried righteous man? Pastor Elvis, a righteous man that is buried. And look at the sequence. The curtains had blocked them. The rocks was on their tombs. So when Jesus gave up his spirit, the Lord tore the curtains. He split the rocks. He broke the tombs. And the men with their white apparel stepped up. Tonight, in Amsterdam, in Rotterdam, in Den Haag, in Utrecht, in Antwerp, in Belgium, in Dusseldorf, in Hamburg, in Frankfurt, in Luton, in London, in Paris, in every city, in every town, we command the righteous men that are locked in tombs out now. Come out. Come out now. Come out now. Come out now. Come out now. Jesus speaks of the daughter of Jarius, young Peon, dead. But 
thank God what men call dead, Jesus says it is sleeping. Heaven speaks a different language. Somebody, your mother said, you are finished. I came to awaken you because you are only sleeping. Oh. Some of you, your friend said you are done. Jesus said you are only sleeping. I speak concerning somebody tonight. Let your anointing arise. Let your power arise. Let the glory arise. Let the hand of God arise. For arise and shine. For your light has come. And the glory of God is risen upon you. See, there is darkness upon the people. And cross darkness upon the earth. But as for you, it is the glory of God that will arise over you. For I work all ye sleeper. Rise from the Christ. And the Lord will shine his light on you. Come on, scream and jump like you are arising. I said scream and jump like you are rising. Come on, scream and jump like you are coming out of the tomb. Scream and jump like you are coming out of the tomb. Lift up your right hand. Say, I am not dead. I was sleeping. Say, I was not dead. I was only sleeping. Say, tonight, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I come out now in the name of Jesus. Pure. But they said she's dead. They said Amsterdam has no hope. They said this generation, what good can come out of Nazareth? I said to any man that says what good can come out of Amsterdam, come and see. I said to any man that says what good can come out of a man, come and see. I said to any woman that says what you can good can come out of a daughter, come and see. I said to anybody that said a revivalist will not come from Amsterdam, come and see. Come on, scream like you believe. I said scream like you believe. I said shout like you believe. Tonight, we send shivers to hell. Some of us, when we come into a zone, the devil trembles. We don't come cute. We don't come into a territory nice. We are not nice. We are demolitious in the hands of God. And I came to awaken a strong man tonight. A strong woman tonight. I came to awaken a remnant tonight. Azunta Brokote Lubasundi Vali Kubranto Skifalusa Paluka Tandikato Let the rocks split Let the tombs open We command let the righteous men of Amsterdam arise Oh, oh, oh. let the 7,000 come out of the cave. We call forth an army. We call forth some militants. We call forth some men of God. Arise and take your rightful place. If you believe it is you, shout yes. Tonight is the last night the devil used you. I said tonight is the last night the devil used you. Tonight you are going from Saul to Paul. Tonight you are turning into another man. Oh, the glory of God will rise over you. The power of God will rise over you. You will be no longer bound. Oh, you will not be longer bound. In Tapokota, 
in this meeting we call for the next general in this meeting we call for the next millionaire in this ministry and in this church and in this meeting we call for the next prime minister we call for the next president oh out of this meeting let prophets and apostles and priests and pastors and teachers and evangelists out of this meeting Brandi Valu Sin Toko Palo is Kuva Tinda Bakato Lepato di Kabata. Let this be recorded in the heavens and let it be signed upon the earth and let it be recognized in the earth beneath that these men and women are for signs and wonders. If you believe it is your portion, shout it is me. Tonight God is about to take city wreckers. City possessors. God is about to untie certain men and women. And they will cause havoc to hell. You'll be hell's biggest nightmare. Anytime hell hear your name, they will shiver. Anytime hell hear your name, they will shiver. Anytime hell hear your name, they will shiver. Le palu sata. Come on, speak in tongues like you know. Awaken the giant in you. I said, I'm working the time. Come on, I'm working the giants. I said, I'm working the giant. I said, I'm working the giant. Hey, I'm working it now. Are working the giants now. Ipalu setele, kundi kapalo, ipri katolo mo, itala mo kopai, kebran tele mo ko, leba ande mo ko, leman tobrosia, ito pose brekata, suda. Watch this. Watch this. In any old Judaic Hebraic society, if you got to the place, what makes you know that you have come into a Hebraic society is that you meet sheep and cows. But when you go to Gadara, instead of sheep, you meet pigs. Pigs. The Bible calls it abominable, filthy animals. If you enter into any old Judaic or Hebraic society, the men are more likely to be rearing sheep than pigs. But in Gadara, when Jesus stepped into town, the city was so perverse that the man in that city, they read pigs instead of sheep. And when Jesus was, you know, commanding the demons, the demon says, send us into the swines. No wonder in Gadara, the remnants were mad. But this story tells me, no matter how bad, a family a society, a community. They said, oh, Amsterdam is synonymous for red light, for weed, for promiscuity, from immorality. It is synonymous of pain. 
weeks. But tonight, oh. I said, but tonight, out of Amsterdam, it's a revivalist. Tonight, out of Gadara, are apostles. Tonight, out of your family. Oh. Is, is my cousin, De is, Debbie, is Debbie here yet? My cousin is here. If she was here, I would have brought her out to see you. My uncle, Debbie's father. You know, you know my uncle? I went to him. He lives in Amsterdam. I went to his house. He just looked at me. He was crying. I said, uncle, why are you crying? He said, so we, I never thought that out of our godless family where men and women are sold to idols, God could have raised somebody like you. Look, every one of my siblings are priestess and priest at shrines. Every one of them from my father's side. I'm talking about my biological sisters and brothers. They serve as priestess on shrines. But out of that house, God did not raise priests for a connect. Out of that house, God has raised a priest, a king, a servant for the kingdom. I decree and I declare out of your hope. I said out of your family, out of your city, out of your nation, let priests arise for God. Out of Rahab shall come the Messiah. Out of Gadara shall come an apostle. Out of Amsterdam shall come revivalists. We are about to enter into a deadly time of prayer. DIY, do it yourself. Hey. What is chasing you will determine your speed, though. <laughs> Azabo, when a dog is chasing you and a lion is chasing you, it's not the same. When a dog bites you, you get rabies. You go to the hospital, they will solve the problem. When a lion catches you, they will carry your bones. So your speed is determinant of what is chasing you. What I mean is that the destiny and assignment chasing you will determine your speed. Sometimes they say you are doing too much. I say you don't know what is chasing you. You, nothing is chasing you, so don't do too much. I need more time to do too much. The devil is doing too much. The kingdom must do too much. Hell is killing too much. We must resurrect too much. The devil is killing and stealing and destroying. We must give life too much. I want you to pray like you want some chains to break. Tonight, I'm free. I will not be anointed and bound. Ha! Do you know the frustration to carry too much and do too little? They told Jesus, you are doing too much. Come and rest. He said, Mama, as long as it is day, I must do too much. Tonight, I came to call a woman who wants to do too much for God. I came to call a young man that says, I want to do too much. God gave me a mystery. He said, son, grace will bring you to heaven. Your works will sit you. So we will not go to heaven by works. Grace will take us there. 
But where we sit in heaven depends on what you've done. Azovo, you want to go and sit by Paul and by Peter. Ah, what are you talking about? The guy that wrote every single letter of the Bible from prison. The guy that was whipped, shipwrecked, kept in, you know, under the waters, you know, kept in, in forest, you know, beaten and in prison and suffered. So he said, say, the archangel said, those who die in the Lord, yes, say concerning this, their works shall follow them. We are not saved by works, but works would be recognized in heaven. Let me do too much. Let me do too much. I want to get to heaven. I don't want Paul to bully me. If he says, if he talks, I must talk. Paul will say, I went to Ephesus. Me too. I went to Amsterdam. <laughs> Paul will say, when I went to Capernaum, I said, when I also went to Antwerp. Then Paul will say, when I landed in Greece, I said, me too, when I went to the UK. Let me do too much. Mama, let me do too much. Papa, let me do too much. Let me do too much. If Jesus did too much for me, I must do too much for him. Tonight, the grace to do too much is coming upon you. Every 24 hours would become purposeful for you. Oh, you do too much this week. You do too much next week. You do too much next month. You shall be a man and a woman of many words. They said it's too much. man sang a song. He said, waste my life for you. Yes, Lord, waste it. Spend it. Let every sweat, every ounce of my breath count. Let the words of my mouth, even the meditations of my heart be acceptable to you. Oh Lord, my redeemer. Ah, today's the last day you worked for the devil. You didn't shout amen. I said tonight is the last night you work for the devil. Tonight you are unusable for the devil. No more, no more, no more. Be on your feet. Apart from Papa, pa, 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 please sit for us. Be on your feet. If I were you, I would already begin to even stretch as if the chains are breaking. Ah! Out of that tomb. We have Yeah. 
Shout and serve me. Scream! 
yourself you are going to pray until something breaks out of you you pray on those you feel a breaking lift up your hand and say father huh we are on assignment to rescue a generation the devil will not steal our brothers and our sisters say father by the power of the Holy Ghost as I travel in prayer any cave anything that has bound me lose me now in the name of Jesus lift up your voice and pray give me some praying men on the mic I said pray I didn't say play Rapa shapa tapa, raka to shapa tapa ya, raka shapa tapa, lepe deke 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 deke, raka to shapa ya tapa, rika to shapa ya, leka to shapa tapa, mata ya mata, rika pata ya pata, rika papa ta, raka papa ya, raka dalaba to shapa, raka papa ya, raka papa ya tapa tapa. I'm 
Ashes, watch out! Ashes, watch out! Ashes, watch out! Pray! 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 The Lord is delivered! 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 Something is happening! Something is happening! Something is happening! to violently deliver men and women. <laughs> the enemy kept Jesus in the tomb. And the Bible says they put four squads of soldiers 
to sit there so that the disciples will not be able to come and steal their body. But the Bible says when they came the next day, the stone was rolled away and Jesus, even Jesus, the devil wanted to pound him. Tonight, I speak to any demon that has held anybody bound by the count of three with screaming and shouting come out of them I didn't say you people scream I command any demon anybody here bound by the count of three lose them one, I shall bring them forward two, three bring them forward one, two, three, out! Carry them forward! Carry them forward! One, two, three, loose them! One, two, three, loose them! One, two, three, loose them! Now, 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 loose them, loose them, loose them, loose them, loose them, now, now! Devil is a liar. Lift up your hands, everybody. Let every one of them stay here. The angels at the altar will work on them. Protect Papa. Lift up your hand, everybody. Ha! Huh? anything some of you it is sickness some of you the devil has bound you with sickness asthma elsa cancer mental sickness in your head in your mind the devil want to bind your future by the count of three holy ghost deliver them now one come out two come out Three, come out. One, come out. Two, come out. Bring them forward. Three, come out. One, come out. Carry them forward. Everybody lift up your hand. How can this anointed men and women be bound we are working a boundless remnant everybody lift up your hand ah! carry them forward there is fire at the altar we have kindled fire at the altar. Everybody lift up your hand. No limitation. Anything that has subdued you by the count of three, you lose and now one, two, three, go, go, go now. Go now! Go now! Go now! Lose her now! Ah! Bring them forward! Bring me this girl! Bring her! 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 Anything that wants to suffer, lose her! Ouch! Out of her life, you will not die. Sickness will not inhabit you. Your destiny will not be sabotaged by the count of three. One, two, three. Turn out. Lift up your hand, everybody. Huh? Tonight. The devil has lost the battle. Your amen is sick. Tonight, the devil has lost the battle. Shout an amen. The devil 
devil is a liar. Lift up your hands. Tonight, I see glorious destinies birthed. Tonight, I see people like babies. The Lord said, I'm birthing their destinies afresh. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Close your eyes. Father, anything that has held them captive, some of you, you are even struggling with school. They have held your mind captive. I see about three people whose mind has been held captive. Father, let your fire touch their mind now. Ashes, look for them for me. One, that is one. Two, bring them. Two, bring them. Three, bring them. Carry them forward. Carry them forward. Your mind, yes. One, two, three, yes. Bring them forward. Bring them forward. Spirit to spirit. Lift up your hands. Tonight, Ima, is the night of freedom. I said it is the night of freedom. Clap like you want to be free. everybody say father as I clap and I pray violently say as I clap and pray violently anything that wants to bind my life and my destiny lose me now clap your hands and pray let them stay at the altar
stay. When they are here, angels are sorting the matter. Some of these people, they must go through a journey. <laughs> we came to Amsterdam to awaken the bound men. Take your glorious destiny. I bring you out of what those women have gone through. You will be different. Let your glorious destiny come forth by the count of three. One, two, three. Take it. Everybody lift up your hand. God is working. Don't watch people be set free. You did not come to watch. your destiny will be great. Nobody can sabotage it. Nobody. You have a great destiny. Demons scream and go. One, two, three. Lose them. I command every demon scream and leave. One, two, three. Out. Demons scream and go now. Scream and go. Kapatos, kapayaba, rika pata, ata kapaya, rika pata. Take your destiny, kapatos. Loser, loser. Scream and go. Screaming, 
scream and go. You devil, lose them now. One, two, three, lose them. The devil want to bind them. Palusata. Tonight, let every stone be rolled away. Let the rocks split. Let the tombs break. Let righteous men and women come out. We will torment demons tonight. Everybody lift up your hands. All of them stay. Don't let them go. Tum tum tums are splitting. 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 Rocks, rocks, rocks are rolling. Stone, stone, stones are rolling. Stone, stone, stones are rolling. Stone, stone, stones are rolling. Tum, 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 that's splitting. 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 Stone, stone, stones are rolling. Stone, stone, stones are rolling. Stones, stones, start rolling. Stones, 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 start rolling. Stones, 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 start splitting. Stones, 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 start splitting.
your hands. Can I have... <laughs> Lift up your hand. Every hand lifted. I'll hand over the mic in the next 15 minutes. Lift up your hand. How many of you are ready for God to pour some oil on you tonight? Tonight, the madman of Gadara is about to receive his prophetic destiny. Lift up your hands, everybody. Bring me this girl. Bring her to me. Come. Come, bring her. There are things she must recover. Bring her. They've taken a lot from her. Bring her. She has lost a lot as a young little girl. Bring her. As I lay hands on you, anything that has been denied, take it back. She has lost a lot. Lift, lift, lift up your hand. I see God delivering packages. He said it's their prophetic destinies. Lift up your hands. Huh? Tonight, you will recover all. Amen is free. I said you will recover all. I, 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 I see a lot of prophets here. I see a lot of prophets. I see trumpets. The Lord said it's a prophetic voices. Lift up your hand. Anybody here with a prophetic call, let the Holy Ghost fall on you right now. By the count of three. One, two, three. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them forward. Make sure Papa is protected. Let ushers guard the way for Papa. Hey, ushers, be careful. There are some revivalists God is about to remove. They are going to bring terror to hell and take nations. Father, anybody with a revivalist anointed, we activate it now by the count of three. I see somebody at the back. Come on, carry them. I call for the revivalists from the tomb. Bring them forward. Anybody with a revivalist assignment, let the power of God fall on you now. Bring me the guy wearing blue at the back. Come on. There's a guy. Bring him. There's a guy. Come forward. No, no, no. This man. This man. Come, sir. Come. Yes. Come. Lift up your hand for me, sir. God is going to put a very strong oil upon your head. It will fall on you. Take it. Take it. Subdue 
nations receive strength. It's called might. I hear the Lord, he said, I'm healing. If there is anybody here, you are sick. By the count of three, you are healed. One, two, three, be healed. If you sense healing, run forward. I see God heal people now. I see him heal people now. Asthma is gone. Short eyesight, pain. Check yourself. If there is anything wrong with you, check yourself. Kolobo Sadi in Tobrokopa. Sinimikotalia. Anybody traveled out of Holland and is here? I hear God. He said some people are taking fire into some countries. You came outside of Holland. Lift up your hand. Father, anybody here that came from any other country by apart from Holland, let your power rest on them now. <laughs> Receive it. Receive power to take cities, to take nations, to take lands. It's yours. Take it now. It's yours. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Take You Every hand lifted as you sing it. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Take charge. You reign. Hold my hand. Recover. Recover your life. Recover your marriage. Recover your destiny. Recover. Recover. Recover.
Every hand lifted for the last time. Make this confession. Say this after me. After tonight. Say after tonight. I am no longer bound. Say after tonight. I am no longer hidden. After tonight. I am no longer oppressed. After tonight. I am free to embrace my prophetic destiny. If that is you, shout a big amen. I said shout a big amen. I said shout a big amen. Shout an amen. Now, lift up your hand finally. Don't be tired of lifting up your hand. We are petitioning heaven. Bring me that girl. Come. Bring that girl. Come. Come, 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 come. Come, come to me. Come. God wants to restore. Lift up your hand. Come. Come here. Bring it. Let everything that was taken from you come back. Restore her. Restore her. Restore her destiny in the name of Jesus. Now everybody lift up your hand. Finally. Finally. Let every gift of God upon your life be activated. Do you know why God gives you gift? It is to make your assignment purposeful and easy. Any gift of God, whether it is prophecy, healing, miracle, deliverance, finances, whatever that God has given you, lift up your hand and Father, as they lift up their hand, I command every gift that you have placed on them to be activated now. Ushers, as they shout an amen, there are some of them that the power of God would take them. Shout an amen. amen. Carry them and bring them. The power of God will overshadow them. Bring them forward. The power of God will overshadow them. Shout an amen. Sit down. Sit down. Father, we pray for everyone here. Set them free. Heal them. Deliver them. Set them apart in the name of Jesus. Go and sit down if you can. If you are here, you can. Go and sit down. Like a rushing wind, like a river fire. However you are, however you are, like a rushing wind. Mr. Dennis, come. Like you will not lose the oil upon your head. Let your head not lack oil. You will not forfeit your priestly assignment. You are a priest.
what a fire inside my bones. You are the one who won't let go. Abba. And everything changes when you're in the room. Abba. Let the embers of my heart down because you. assignment is not a prophet. The first assignment is a worshiper. <laughs> David was a worshiper before a prophet, before a king. There are songs in you, good man. But not just that. You also carry what we call the harpist anointing. 
is the anointing of deliverance. Belgium don't need prophets. Belgium need men that know how to rout demons. And I see God sending you to Belgium after this meeting to cause terror. After tonight, you are backing on a 21 days fasting. After the 21 days fasting, there would be power upon your life. Take it. Clap your hands like it's yours. Scream like you mean it. Shout. Everybody here is leaving this room loaded with power. I said you are leaving this room loaded with power. I said you are leaving this room loaded with power. Come on, clap your hands for my brother, Apostle Shamil. Come on. I said clap your hands. Thank you, Holy Ghost. How many of you once, oh my God, hey, tonight is heavy. My brother did a program today in his church. He just finished a conference and he's walked in. This is kingdom. Clap your hands on the Lord. I think I need to leave the microphone for him. Do you want an apostle to just flow a little? Do you want an apostle to flow a little? No, no, we'll give you the mic. Just do me. I'm about to. I finished everything. What a day. What a day. How many of you feel glory all over this? Place? I said, how, how many of you feel clap? How many of you feel clap? Oh my God. How many of you feel clap? Whoa. Come on, play. Sing it 
lift our hands. I just want to pray over you. Close your eyes. The man of God has done everything already. I just want to release some words in the atmosphere. Lift your hands as high as you can. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring your people before you. They that are hungry and thirsty for righteousness. I pray that you will begin to do something new in their lives from today. They who have laid before you in fasting and prayer, I place a demand on the heaven that heaven over their careers and calling shall begin to open from this moment. I call upon the anointing of your destiny that it shall begin to flow out of the third heaven in your belly. Any grace that is conducive for your destiny that will take you from a low place to a high place. I speak to the heaven from the altar of the Lord. May that heaven begin to be unlocked over your life right now. I call on oil from heaven. David say, thy anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. You don't give from the oil on your head. You give from the dimension that is overflowing. For even now as I am speaking, the Lord is activating 20 people with fresh oil from heaven. I call on heaven to anoint 20 people in the sanctuary. That Holland shall begin to place a demand upon your gift. That Europe shall begin to place a demand upon your gift. I speak and I prophesy. May oil begin to locate your destiny now. Let my words begin to travel in the atmosphere. Let my words begin to travel over the sanctuary. That whatsoever you need to make it in this life and impact your generation. Let something begin to fall upon you. I pray in the name of Jesus. As Samuel found David in the bush. And the oil he poured upon David in the bush. Brought him to a place of governmental influence. So I speak over destinies of people that are hidden and not being visible. You shall not not be like Saul, a king with a crown on your head. You will be a king with oil on your head. Therefore I declare and decree may the hand of God begin to fall in this building. I call upon the invisible hand of God to come down with mighty power. I call upon the invisible hand of God to come with mighty power. May it lift you out of the bush. May it lift you out of a curse. May it lift you out of a prison. May it lift you out of a place where you were invisible. May this oil and grace make you relevant in your generation. May this grace make you relevant in your generation. I call upon oil for influence. May you influence Holland. May you influence Europe. May you influence your generation. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. For I know that you always hear my prayer. Bless your people. Let the words of the great Apostle Randall be sealed by the blood of Jesus. Thank you for revival in the land. Thank you for Minister Kwame and the great work you have started through him. Let every evil tongue never affect his destiny. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Amen. Be seated. How many of you have been blessed tonight? Clap your hands unto Jesus. What a day. What a day. What a day. 
Give me your attention. Give me your attention. Give me your attention. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Carry her into a room. Guys, go ahead and pray for her. Find some, take her somewhere. How many of you are blessed tonight? There is an awakening in the city. The remnants are no more bound. The madman at Gadara is loosed. Look, you are on a rampage from tonight. You are on a rampage to do everything God has commanded you to do. I want us to do one thing before I hand over the mic. When you come into such atmospheres, the Bible says that when Jacob woke up and he saw God was in a place, he built an altar. How many of you know God is here tonight? Let me see your hand. I've not felt God in a place like this in many places. God is here tonight. Jacob arose and he said, this is the house of God. He said, so God was here and I did not know. We are going to give people the opportunity to build and seal the things God have done in their lives tonight with a sacrifice. We are not taking you your money. We are teaching you kingdom principle. Rain only makes sense for men who have seed on the ground. There are people, there are things that you don't do by prayer, you do by sacrifice. I want people to run where you are. Come quickly. You need to know where God is. Come quickly. I need to pray for this girl. Come. God has given you a blessed destiny. He's not only going to use you, but your marriage is going to be very blessed. Out of your womb. I see this. She's, this girl is going to birth some serious people out of her womb. There are about five, ten people you can. What is you cannot outgive God. It's a principle of the kingdom. You were here, God worked on you. Seal it. Don't just get up and sit down. I'm waiting for more people. Come. You can do it. Come forward. You can do it. It's not, this is not fundraising. <laughs> no, I don't raise funds. Know where God is. Know where God is. About 20 to 30 people, you can do 50. Come forward. Quickly. Know where God is. Never depart from certain atmospheres without building altars. You see money out of your accounts. The Lord sees a, the Lord sees a sacrifice. It's not the same. Get up quickly. You can come. Some of you, you must even go and borrow vessels. You must tell somebody, give me, give me the money. I would give it to you when God blesses me. You need to learn how to borrow vessels to build capacity. Who told you God only wants you to give what you have?
There's a revival in Europe. It's not coming. It's here. God is raising some strong men and women. But people, look, don't scan yet. Wait. Just follow instruction. Take your time. Okay? Where you want to give? In a spiritual sensitive atmosphere, timing is correct. There's time you need to wait for windows. This is why we miss God. When the Ethiopian eunuch saw that the time was right, he said, what stops me from being baptized? Do it now. There are parents here, you should already be coming on behalf of your children and sealing these kind of things. You guys are sitting down. I'm about to slap you. What, you think you're organizing the program so you don't give? Don't be jokers. You have to learn what is called leading by example. Some of you, when it comes to raising seed, you wait till you hear the lowest. But tonight, we awake some widow's might. People don't then have a lot, but they say we give God our all. You can do a 20, a 10. Come forward. Come forward. That is what you have come. I'm expecting more people. Come here. Come to the altar. Come here. Move here. Move here. Come here. There's a lot of space. Let them come here. Leave the uh, leave them. Just come. Let them come. It's going to let Apostle pray for them, but he is also partaking. I believe in the hand of God on Apostle Shamil. I, I am the first believer of what God has placed on this man. Amsterdam, you need to recognize the men God has given you. Don't let people come from outside to tell you who God has given you. That word that says a prophet has no honor in his hometown, may it not be Amsterdam's portion. Amen. Now everybody lift up your hand. You see, yesterday I made mention of what we call keys. The kingdom unlock doors with keys. There are things you only do by prayer. There are things you do by sacrifice. There are things you do by praise. There are things you do by worship. Every key unlocks a certain door. You can unlock certain... Look, you can be anointed and be broke. You don't become wealthy by prayer. In the book of 2 Kings 4, the Bible says that there was a prophet. Accurate in prophecy. But he was so broke that when he died, debtors came to collect his children. May you not be anointed and broke. That's the problem with the church. They know the key to power. They don't know the key to substance and wealth. Lift up your hand. Father, lift it higher. We pray for these men and women that understand kingdom principles and keys. They've prayed. They've worshipped. 
they've praised. Father, now they are sacrificing. Receive their offering. Receive their sacrifice. Seal everything you have done in them tonight permanently. And Father, even what they've not sown, cause them to reap. May the heavens over your life and your destiny open. May the reign of God reign on you continuously. May there never be drought or lack in your home. May God himself bless everything that contains you. You are blessed and you are highly favored in the name of Jesus. Shout a big amen. amen. If you have it here, put it in. If you want to give, just scan and get it there and let us clap our hands as we receive Emmanuel to take it. Let's receive Kwame to take it from there. Come and clap and praise God. Amen. Amen. So everyone do it now. Use the code. Use the code right now. And we'll be out here in 10 minutes. Let the light, one light be off so that it will be easier for them to scan. There are ushers who have a QR code on their badge. Go to them if it's not working. Go to them if it's not working. And release it right now. Please, we are almost done. Don't leave the building. Don't leave the building. Can two ushers carry our sister to the back? Two ushers. Amen. All right, so this is not the only program that's going on this month and the weeks to come. We believe in kingdom, and there are amazing men and women of God who are hosting revivals here in Amsterdam as well. And let's be part of it and be blessed. Amen? There is a reason why God is sending so many people in our city for something to be ignited. Amen? So the first one we have is Minister Roland. Let's clap for him. He came all the way from Germany, straight from a program he had with his father. He rushed 12 a.m. to be in Amsterdam to be present with us. It's a great honor and we appreciate it. Put this flyer on, please. There are also physical flyers here, right? So ushers, please take it and share them amongst the people. Where is the flyer? Apostle Randolph says that the media team is under the anointing. All right. Let's honor our ushers. Let's honor, clap for them. You see, the awakening revival is not just one church. Okay, the flight. We'll continue the honoring in a bit. So, 
these are the details. Our own apostle will be ministering together with his wife, Pastor Daniel Oluwande. He's the national head, the national head of the youth of RCCG worldwide. So it will be a blessing, spiritual break on the 17th of December. So everybody take note. If you live in Germany, if you are traveling to Germany as well, if you want to travel, be present at this conference. It will be a blessing. Then also, in November, we have the conference of Fruitful Center. Is Fruitful Center in the house? Yeah. Talitakum is coming on. Oh. And they are inviting Prophetess Leslie Osei. She will be present. So take note, it starts on a Friday, and all women should be present. Men can also come, but at least all the women should be present. Amen? Then we have a conference of our dear man of God, Godwin, manhood restored. Clap your hands. It is happening live in Germany in January 2023. Apostle Randolph will be present. Pastor Ellen will be present. Minister Daniel will be present. So, I myself, I will be coming. Let's all gather and be there. Amen? We need these kinds of retreat for men. We always have women programs. But it is time for men programs to increase. Amen? Then, we have, somebody say, stepping out of darkness. Or say, stepping out of darkness. Next week, on the 20th, of October, Stepping Out of Darkness is happening live in Amsterdam, hosted by Pastor Johnny Kufbogie and Apostle Johnny Kufbogie. Prophet Benjamin is coming, and Prophet Nia Siris is coming, and Minister Abi Jomo is coming. It's happening live on the 20th to the 22nd of October. Amen? So be a support and be there present as well. Amen? Then, that same week on the 22nd, Pastor Kofi Date and his brother, Prophet Rav Date, are coming to Amsterdam. It will be a revival of prayer. The wild wind is the team. I urge everybody to be present. It will be at the church premises of our finest pastor, Byron Quenny, at Pentecost Revival, Charity's House. So make sure you are there. All right? So these were the announcements of the conferences. Now, I want to do something. Pastor Byron and Pastor Eunice, can you come forward, please? <laughs> Clap your hands for them. You know, I'm not blessing anything. <laughs> but I have to do this. Since we started in 2020, they have opened their doors of their church for us to practice with the choir every Thursday, consistently, without taking anything. Giving us the opportunity to do an all-night in preparation without taking anything. This is true kingdom. So, man of God, on behalf of the Awakening Revival, we want to honor you and your wife and your father, Apostle Connie, for supporting us and be, being with us. We appreciate it. We don't take it for granted at all. Let's clap for them again. Now, again, let's honor our ushers. We all saw the deliverances that happened and they were carrying all the people. I even saw women ushers really carrying people. So God bless them. Let's honor the band of KAC. Oh, clap for them. Didn't you enjoy the music? Didn't you enjoy the sound? Listen, I have never seen a band like them. <laughs> no, on a serious note, they are something else. When they hit one note, the heavens open. Let's clap our hands for our very own Davita and Benjamin. 
They have been doing all the branding, the media, the flyers and everything. Let's clap for them. Let's embarrass them. Let's embarrass them. Now, this is his business. This is their business. Upper light is from Benjamin and beloved stones is of Davita. If you need anything, contact them and they will do it for you. They are perfect graphic designers. Amen? Is Mr. Lewis in the building? Mr. Lewis. 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 No, this is not a prophecy, but it's Mr. Lewis in the building. It's Mr. Lewis. Okay. If, you're not, if it's not in the building, we continue. Amen? Now, who followed the, who watched the live yesterday back? Who watched it back? Did you like it? Was everything clear? Did you saw all the movements? J.K.R. shot was behind everything. Let's clap for him. This man does the best live streams for weddings, for programs and everything. So if you need him for your program, contact him and he will do it very well for you. Amen? Now, we promise you next year that the Awakening T-shirts will be available for everybody. Who likes the design? Where is Kevin? Come. Let's clap for him. Walk, walk quickly. Run, run. You see, he has his own business and he printed all the shirts by himself. Let's clap for him. If you are in need of t-shirts, printing, and branding for your program, contact Kevin. What's the name of your business? Art and Fashion. Art and fest. Fashion. Art and Fashion. Let's clap for him. Now, there is a dear sister of us who has been helping us, supporting us. Every choir practice, she comes with delicious pancakes. And she has the pancakes here as well. Let's clap our hands for praises. If you love pancakes and waffles, she is the one to locate. Amen. So check her out after the service. Now, let's clap our hands for our choir. Oh, they, they did well. They did well. They did well. Clap for them. Clap for them. Let's clap for our own band. Dave, Josh, Jilby, Minister Joel. Let's honor them. Let's embarrass them. Amen. Now guys, come. Ruth, come. We need to do this together. Benjamin, come. Aaron, come. Where is, Where is Aaron? Come. All right. <laughs> now, let's look. Pastor Randolph, on behalf of the board of the Awakening Revival, we want to say thank you. And we want to honor you and thank you for the sacrifice you have made. You left your own church, your own ministry. You left your wife and your children to be present with us and to bless us and to leave a mark in our conference and in our city and country. We don't take it for lightly. And we honor the grace upon your life. Let's all clap for me and honor him. You have changed our perspective. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Let's clap for Pastor Henry who came with him from Germany. Let's clap for Pastor Elvis who came. Now, Pastor Gil, can you please stand up for everybody to see you? Yeah. You see, 
Where are the people from Den Haag and Rotterdam? Stand up. This woman of God has been sacrificing her life for the youth in Den Haag and in Rotterdam. Investing in them, doing mentorship with them, and grooming them in the things of the Lord. And we want to honor you and thank you for your sacrifices. We don't take it lightly. May the Lord continue to empower you to do what you are doing. God bless you, man. God bless you. Amen? So, now, where is Angie? Stand up. Quickly. You see, since the beginning of the week, he has been running up and down. He's a very busy guy. He works a lot. But he made sure to cancel most of his calls for work to be able to ride the guys to ride here, ride there, bring this, come and do this, come and do this. We want to honor you. Thank you for your sacrifices. Sometimes people don't recognize such things that you do. But we recognize it. I want to say thank you. God bless you. Now every worker, everyone that helped, contributed, we are grateful. This is our heartbeat. To see the unity within our country, within our city. Praying to God for a revival and a change in our lives and in every aspect and area. Can we have the list of the churches please? If you are here and you encountered God, you were not saved and you encountered God or you rededicated your life during the service whilst we were praying, these are a list of churches that we have partnered with and they have been supporting us. We want to rec recommend you to them because we know them and what they are capable of doing. Visit them, make a screenshot. If you are watching the live, make a screenshot. And if you don't have a church, make sure you pass by to one of these churches if they are close to you. And I promise you, you will grow in the things of the Lord and you'll become another man. Amen? There are churches in Den Haag, in Rotterdam, and Amsterdam. Make sure you pass by. Amen? God bless you guys. Now, where is something else? She doesn't like this. But this woman is amazing. She does so beautiful pictures, videos. Even at up, Upper Room, the quality of Upper Room, I've never seen it somewhere else. She's one of the people that are behind it. So guys, check her out on her Instagram. When you go to her page, you will see the reason why she's called something else. Let's clap for her. All right, so guys, let's stand up. Let's stand up. Yes. We are leaving in a bit. Can the ushers bring the offering bowl? There is a difference between seed and offering. They are not the same. And I've learned from my mentors that you can go to the house of God empty-handed. Amen? So, ushers, guide them and let them drop your offering. Amen? Give us a song. Okay. Ushers, guide them. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Whatever you have with you, just release it. Lord, you are good Clap your and hands. your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good, say. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. If you have cash, Lord, you are if you have cash, ushers, guide them to the front.
Father, we pray over the offering. Open the windows of heaven and pour down a blessing upon them. May their hands never lack. And may you continue to supply their needs. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Now there is something. Yes, there is something I want to do. This person, she doesn't know it. But it's her birthday. Yesterday or today. Can truce come forward? Truce, if truce is here. If truce is here, let her come forward. Truce, if she's here. Oh, let's clap for her. Let's clap for her. Let's sing for her. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. to have good friends. When the man who was almost dying, his friends brought him to Jesus through the roof. One of her friends sent me a text message that my sister is coming. She is always at the back of conferences and everything and she does so much things for people but it seems like she doesn't get recognized. And she said, please do this for me. Emily is a good friend. <laughs> Emily is a good friend. So Pastor Randolph, can you please pray for her quickly? Truth, may God bless you. As you've been hiding from the back and God has brought you forward, may you remain forward. May everything God wants to release in your life in this season be permanent. We declare you blessed and nobody can change that. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. God bless you, Pastor. Now, there's one thing I forgot. Who loved the sound? Okay. Have you heard a sound like this in Amsterdam before? Let's clap for Elliot and Jeremy. The best sound engineer. Check him out on Instagram. And if you are doing a program, invite him. You will bring heaven in your sound. Amen. Now, the man of God came not only to preach and to minister, but he came to leave wisdom behind. You can receive an impartation through sitting down and listening to a preaching, but you can also receive an impartation by reading a book. Book are doorways for impartation. So, the man of God has books here. One of them is called the Holy Spirit. Other one is a book on marriage and dating. What's the other one? The other one is dating and the other one is marriage. So, as you are leaving, don't leave without a book. Now, I want to call five people who want to buy ten books and give it as a gift to people here. Who really wants the book? Lift up your hands. Who really wants the book? You're, I know you want the book, but the hand is down because you are thinking about money. I am just asking, who really wants the book? You want the book? Who else wants the book? We are in the house of God. Don't lie. You are sitting down. You want the book. Who wants the book? Lift up your hands. Now, if you are here and you want to buy 10 books and give it out to the people that want it, raise up your hands. Where's, where's Ruth? Where's Ruth? Bring all the books to the front. We are doing this in five minutes. Bring all the books to the front. Quickly. 
Where is Ruth? Ruth. My sisters that are living, please make sure you get one book. Give it to them. Run to them and give them a book. Let them get one book. Let them get. Let them scan right now. Wow. Let's clap for the man of God. He's buying 10 books and giving it out for. Let's clap for hands for Apostle. He's buying 10 and giving it out for. So if you are here and you want to get 10 books and give it out, come forward and release 150 euros to cover it. 150 euros for 10 books and give it out. If you are here and you want to do it, just come. You see, this is two things. You are tapping into wisdom for yourself and you are being, you are doing benevolence to your neighbor. Just come forward if you want to do it. If you want to do it but you can't do it now and at the end of the month you know you are getting paid and you want to do it, come forward. Come forward. Let's clap for our sister. It's the 15th of October. Let me check something out. Which means that I think in two weeks, many of you are receiving your student financiering. And some of you use your student financiering to do different things. So please, bear it in mind that as you are doing this, you are doing something not only for yourself, but for your neighbor. So if you are here, you want to do it at the end of the month. You can do it right now, but you have the passion. You are getting paid and you want to do it. Come forward. And do it. Amen. Let's clap for our dear teacher Claudia. Let's clap for our sister Daniela. They are getting 10 books. If you are here and you want to do it, come. Please, ushers, make sure that all the people that are living before time, they must get one book. That is their punishment. Amen. If there are no more people coming, if there is somebody that's still coming, come right now. There was a lady yesterday. to the ministry. She wanted to be a blessing to the ministry. Now, she said that before I said anyone that wants to give a hundred, the Holy Ghost already told her to give a hundred. But she said, how can I do this? And so when I said it, she now received a confirmation and she did it. Some of you here, you are feeling it on your heart. Let them get a book. You are feeling it on your heart to be a blessing to the ministry of Pastor Randolph and in the Awakening Revival. Don't let double-mindedness cause you to miss your blessing. Step out in faith and do it. If you are here and you still want to be part, come forward right now if you want to do it. Just 10 seconds. One, two, three. If you know you are one of them, come right now. You see, there are people that are sitting down. The Holy Ghost is leading them, but they are afraid or they are thinking twice. My sister, you can stand here. And you want to do it. You can't do it now or at the end of the night. Come forward and do it. Don't resist the leading of the Spirit. 
This might, you might see this as something small, but this is something that is opening the door for your next level. Let's clap for our sister. This is a very dear sister of mine. I used to go to school with her. She knows me when I was doing bad things. And by the grace of God, look at what has become of me. <laughs> Amen. So please, if you still want to be part, five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. The windows is closed. Amen. Let's come. Let's come together. Amen. Now, Father, we pray for them. All the grace and the anointings upon the ministry of Pastor Randolph. As they are sowing into the ministry, let the grace and the wisdom and the oil be transferred upon their life. Let whatever they are struggling in, because of the anointing upon the ministry of Pastor Randolph, let it bring divine acceleration and speed. Let the same oil resting upon the man of God and the ministry begin to work things in their life. We decree and declare an increase of favor, of honor, and blessing in Jesus' mighty name. the books are left, but these books have been paid for. In upper room, Daniela came forward and paid for every single book that was left. So, technically, I didn't even know there were books here. Because she paid for every single book. And that's why I called her and said, why, are you, why have you come forward again? She said only 10. So, technically, these books have been paid for. Any book that is left share every one of them to people for free. Okay? Um, 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 technically, like I said, she paid for everything. She sent me the money long time ago. So to see her come again, to see her come again, I'm, I'm surprised. And the money she gave me was heavy. She counted everything that was left and sent me the money. So I have no idea there are books here. So um, um, I appreciate everything that you guys have done. I don't need your money, honestly. I'm blessed. God has blessed me, so you are doing this and you are opening doors for yourself and for generations unborn. My friend, Apostle Shamil, you know, has just done it and I appreciate it so much as well. But please make sure that any book that is left if you are here, you want to have a strong relationship with the Holy Ghost. If you are here, you are young and you are confused. You don't know what, you know, what parameters to go about when it comes to the subject of dating. And if you are working towards getting married, which you would eventually get, just go. Please, don't take more than one. Take something that you need. It will bless you and give it out. Because like I said, it's already been paid for. But thank you so much. I love you. God bless you. And God bless all of you. Really, really means a lot to me. Please give it out after the service. Yeah, so this means that the you know the giving has not been cancelled. But the books are free, but the giving has not been cancelled. It is going into the ministry of the man of God. The awakening revival. So now, who's ready for next year? All right. Who's ready for next year? Who would love to see Pastor Randolph again? Oh, I think I heard a mouse screaming. Who wants to see Pastor Randolph again? Amen. As the Holy Spirit enables us, the will of God will be done. Amen. Now let's rise up on our feet.
Amen. Wow. The Holy Ghost has touched Kevin, the one with the business of t-shirts. He said that he so touched and delivered because of the ministry of the man of God. He wants to decrease his price for the first 35 pieces of his hoodies and shirts. And it is available from next week. One shirt will be 5 euros and one hoodie will be 15 euros. So make sure you contact the Awakening Revival page and you'll get it to you. Amen? Amen. Let's lift up our hands and close. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think of. We thank you for these two remarkable days in the city of Amsterdam and in the nation of the Netherlands. We thank you for all the men of God all the women of God who came to join us in faith and in unity to seek your face for a transformation within the lives of the youth in this nation and surrounding. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we pray that may this not be a one thing, a one moment. Let this not be a hype, but let this be a move of transformation. Heavenly Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. See you next year. I'm stalling 10 p.m. I'm waiting for your call Lord, I'm tired of running Cause every time I run, I seem to fall yeah. I wanna go back to the way we used to be if I come back right now, will you still speak? I think I ran just far enough I think it's time to embrace your love Who could let me through my highs and lows? Who could make me feel so vulnerable? Oh Lord